Open your mouth, Link. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Just open your mouth, it'll look like it go in. That's it's called when it goes across. Called perspective. <laughs> hey, did you guys know that? Uh, Welcome to Good Mythical More. Did we for know? Some you no. nominated Webby. Yes, we did know. I did know. Uh, and uh, What's people the deal? have like a day left to vote for people's people's voice. Yeah, for those of you, first of all, thank you to those mythical beasts who we haven't even been talking about the Webbies, but those of you who have just gone out on your own intuitions and volitions uh, and found out about this and you've already sp been spreading the word about this. Uh, but the way the Webbies work is you get nominated based on some academy, but then you get uh, you win based on people's votes. That's just how the internet awards stuff works these days, guys. Can't uh, change the, it. Let's just not, embrace it. Not a, oh, you, the Webbies, yeah. Well, each category has like a people's voice winner and a and a voting. Uh, uh, there's there's a, there's but. voting components and then there's also the the people's choice award. Yeah. Bottom line is, uh, well, we're, no, we're yeah, you, didn't, your votes. you didn't say that right. There's <laughs> the, the voting component is for the people's choice, but then there's also judges who vote and give a give away a separate. So if you're a judge, you should please also vote for us. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying this is just a blanket thing. If you're a judge or a mythical beast, <laughs> just vote for us. So where do they go to do that? Um, one, la one last day to do that. Yes, one last day to do that. We will tweet out the link so that you can do that. Um, and also on our Facebook, uh, Rutten Link. And the categories are best web personality slash host. And also web personality channels and networks. Lots of personality know, around yeah. here. You need to vote for it. Now, <laughs> I, I, one thing I will say, uh, because I always feel weird about getting people to, asking people to vote for an award. But this is, this is my perspective on this, is that... Getting a nomination or a win for something like the Webbies is a great way for people who have no idea what this good mythical universe is all about to find out about it. So this is a way, I know you guys already do a good job of mm -hmm. like telling your friends about what we're doing, but this is a way to kind of completely reach a new audience and expand this mythical universe, and you guys can be a part of that, so we appreciate your vote. Um, okay, it's well. It's a good picture, right? Yeah, I'm very excited about that. Can I just put it on my Instagram and just see if Riri... Hits me up. Or do we have to like put it next to the thing in the video and we gotta do the whole thing and put it on the Rhett and Link stuff? Can I just do it on my personal stuff? Yes, Rhett, I give you permission to post it on your because personal Instagram. Technically, in addition to all you that. own that photo because you took it. That's how photos work. All right, I give you permission um, to put it on your Instagram. Yeah, my, uh, That's okay. Nice. That's nice. That's Yesterday, so nice. I, uh, well, we're at lunch. Uh, we were at lunch, and I we actually had lunch here uh, for my wife and kids because they were going to be at the office around lunch, and I was like, let's get them lunch as well. And so I texted Jesse, and I was like, you do know that you there, you guys, you and the kids have lunch here. And she texts back. It's not a passive aggressive. Currently, I am on the side of the road. I can just, you know what? I can read you exactly what she said because... She texted it to me. It's in your phone. Yeah. You have a permanent record. I want to get these. He's oh. making this up, but he's trying to make you believe it by I texted, pulling out his phone. There is food here for you and boys. Oh, that's, that wasn't passive aggressive. And uh, she says, I'm currently stuck on the side of the road and about to have to cut Shep out of the seatbelt. About to lose my mind. <laughs> trying to decide if I need to call 911. <laughs> I'm on the line with the Acura dealer. <laughs> He's tired. Hold on, she called 911 and someone from Acura answered? I'll t oh, well, let me get into the details. He's tied himself into a knot. <laughs> it's stuck around his waist and locked. At least it's not around his neck. That would be really bad. So I, so obviously at that moment, I didn't just keep texting. I, I called her. And uh, she was like, I can't talk right now. I'm on the line with the Acura person and they're helping me. I was like, Okay. So kind of, it was tied around his waist. That's where a so, seatbelt goes. Well, uh, so here's what happened. There's a he was in a normal seatbelt. He was in his seatbelt, okay. but then he was in the back. And there's another seatbelt that in the third row seating of the SUV. There's uh, seatbelts that come from the roof because you can you, you want to be out right. of the way completely. C because they when seats lay down, you can't string the seatbelt with it. Or right. Something, so he took the seatbelt from the roof. And pulled it down and wrapped it around his waist. <laughs> <laughs> this is Shepard. This is not surprising at all. It, it was probably a, a, a better way to be secure. Yeah, you know? yeah. He was just trying to uh, have redundancy in his, his restraints. 
<laughs> so anyway, it, he's in the, he's in the, all the way in the back, and Jesse's driving. Locke is not currently there. Okay. And so she was actually going to get Locke to bring him back here, and she says, "Shepard's like, Mom, I'm stuck in the seatbelt." And she's like, okay, Shepard, and then he's like, Mom, I'm stuck in the seatbelt, and he started crying. <laughs> and she's like, Shepard? She's driving gonna, down the road. You're gonna have to stay stuck until we get home. <laughs> and then he starts really crying, and he's like saying things like, I can't breathe! <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so she just went home, no, no, no. So she stopped, and she pulled onto the side of the road. <laughs> She actually pulled off of the highway, uh, the freeway, and got down uh, on like a side street. That's good. And that's where she made the calls. Mm. So she said that she, she, it looked, and it was like wrapped around, and it was really tight around his waist, and somehow it had gotten locked up to itself, and the top part had locked, and there was nothing to release. Because I, at first I thought, that's why I like, later when she was on the phone, I was like texting her pointless things like, are you, you can't release the latch, <laughs> you know, things like, just trying to be a help, <laughs> just trying to be a helpful husband. <laughs> It's like saying, you know, like can, you can't just push the red button on the latch. <clears throat> but there was no, it, it wasn't in anything to be released, and uh, so now you may remember that he's like a sailor tying himself up to the mast. I told a story. Uh, I told a story a few years ago about a squirrel coming into the house in my home, and she called nine one one. She called nine one one. Yes. Well, I'm ready to update. you. You with the fact that my wife Jesse called nine one one again. <laughs> she called nine one one again yesterday when this happened, <laughs> and because apparently, and I don't know why she didn't tell me this the first time, but she told me that this morning. She's like, I actually did call nine one one, but it said we are experiencing high call volumes, and that was it. That's what happens when you call nine one one L A. Because women are calling nine one one about squirrels in their homes. And their children and being tied up in seatbelts, and that's why people with real emergencies can't get through. Well, hold on, hold on, Rhett. There's faults in your logic because she's the There's one. There's faults in your logic. She's the one that couldn't get through. She couldn't get through because of other people like her who are calling nine one one inappropriately, <laughs> which she admitted. I'm staying out of this. No, one. Well, what she said this morning, she was like, "I called nine one one because I was panicking because he couldn't. He, he was he, he was crying, and you know, Shepard doesn't." Shepard doesn't cry for no reason. Like he cries when he's hurt. So did she have scissors? Uh, no, she didn't. And she, because she was like, I think I'm gonna have to cut him out. But she didn't have. You can't cutting a seatbelt. You gotta have difficult. a good pair of scissors or a knife. And we don't, we don't have that in the car. <clears throat> um, so anyway, to she Shepherd? said this morning, you know, Shepard, we don't, we don't let him carry a knife anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she said, well, the reason I couldn't get through, I guess, is because people like me calling 911 for, you know. When they shouldn't be. So she, I, she I recognized they, that she shouldn't have been calling 911. I think but, they knew why she was calling. But that is a little bit scary, though, because what if it was a real emergency? Is that the, is that how crowded this city is? That if you're and, and I said, did they call you back? She's like, no. So like, what if I'm dying? It's a I've fallen and I can't get up moment, and I don't have my life alert. Lifealert.com. <laughs> Not a sponsor. I don't even know if it's .com. Is it .org? I don't know. I don't think it's a .org. <laughs> <laughs> could be. It could be dot biz, dot US, dot net. I don't know, they probably own them all. Life alert's in charge. And I don't have my life alert, and then I call 911, and I can't speak, and I'm having a heart attack, and they're like, we are experiencing call vo high call volume, and then I become incapacitated. Shouldn't they, it just seems scary. 911 is, is the, it is the lifeline. So anyway, uh, we need more 911 operators. What did they apparently. say? High call volume? Wait, how did the Los out? Angeles 911 system. Oh, he's still in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys got a you guys got a good pair of scissors. <laughs> um, yeah, what what happened? She well, she, in, the, the text the next thing she texted me was, "We got it." No words. Cuz she she had a tough day yesterday. Shepard did a number of other things. Uh, it's just she, she's busy right now. Lots of things going on. So, but what ended up happening is she said that eventually she was able to um, get the weight off of it and it released. Um, and I don't know if that was with the help of the Acura person on the phone. <laughs> Because then I was also like, you know, you have the OnStar button. It's too bad she didn't have a Honda because of those helpful Honda Yeah, guys. those people will show up and, like, do your laundry for you. <laughs> but we have an OnStar button, but we've never pressed it. I don't know. What, what, 
would someone say in that case, though? Like, what do you say? I don't know, but I'm just interested. I, I, the main thing that I'm thinking about is I'm just thinking about my the vulnerability yeah. of life I, I in these parts. I don't think he's wearing a seatbelt anymore. Yeah, he's not wearing a seatbelt anymore, definitely. <laughs> and, he's, and he's getting the knife back. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, when, I, when I search... Los Angeles 911, when I search high call volume 911, the Los Angeles 911 system infographic comes up. Oh, an infographic. And it says, it is apparent that the CHP, California Highway Patrol, has an increasingly large volume of 911 calls, yet it is equipped with fewer resources to identify vital information. In response to these growing challenges, enhanced wireless 911 service has already begun to be implemented in LA, in which 911 calls from cell phones will bypass CHP and instead be routed to local PSAPs and with ANI and ALI technology. You don't need any PCPs, man. Oh, well. PSAPs yeah. and with any and Alley technology. So Annie and Alley gonna show I get, up? I guess for some reason it didn't go to Annie, Annie and Alley. Annie and Alley got a side biz going on. <laughs> Annieandalley.org. Thanks for sticking around for Good Mythical More. If you want to watch more, well, we don't have Good Mythical More More, but we do have a lot more videos. Here's two of them. Also, click the circular channel icon to subscribe.